Hi guys, it's Alicia D. Jong here from AliciaDJong.com again. And in this short video, I just want to show you how you can create uh, conversion tracking with Bing. Okay, so there's a couple of, there's two things that you need to do in this process to get your tag and to be able to convert. The first one is we need to be looking at the shared library and the conversion trackings down the bottom here. So if I click into shared library, actually I'm going to go to conversion tracking first. What we need to do is we need to create a UET tag. Okay, the UET tag is basically the name of the snippet for tracking your conversion goals, okay, and your audiences, and that way you can uh, use it for remarketing. So you need to create a tag, and that tag and that piece of code is then going to go over and you're going to put it onto your actual website. As you can see here, create your UET tag once, add the tracking code to your website, and then create a conversion goal. So we're, I'm just going to walk you through this. So the first one is view UET tags. Okay, and we are going to, I'm just going to create one for this exercise, create UET tag, and let's call it, uh, I don't know, tester for Bing, just for your sake, okay. A description is, say, if I was promoting an event, I would call it Chicago. Actually, let's, let's, yeah. The description could be anything. Uh, I don't know. Say you're advertising brown shoes. Okay. Okay, go save. Then you copy this code and you place it into the header of your landing page that you want to track the results from. Okay. And I think it tells you here you, you place this code in every page of your website. Okay, so that must go into the header of your page okay so you go and do that and then you go done okay and then you can see all the tags and then what you need to do is you need to convert to create a goal for that tag so it can um, record any actions so the conversion goal allows you to define the user activity that you want to can about count as a conversion so you can track the ads keywords and campaigns okay this is taking a little while to load okay so then you just go create conversion goal let's call it test a bing and then I personally use this one destination URL so I want to track every time someone visits that page or you could do the duration pages visited depending on what your outcome is so I always do this one go next I do revenue value each time it happens the conversion action has the same value I tick on that equal to so get the URL so in this for example I want this URL copy I would place that there so that's the URL that the people are actually going to go to and I want to count each time that someone has clicked on this URL for me I do this because that means that I they've people have typed in a keyword they've clicked my ad and they've gone to my landing page but then on another platform altogether I can monitor how many of those people that have clicked because I've counted them as my conversion and then I know from my other platform how many people go the extra line and then I also know how many people opt in because that would be in my back office and it gives me an idea and I can uh, monetize that and um, monitor it is probably the better word okay so that's the website I want them to go to and then the UET tag I in this case would I need to find the test so I would go uh, test a Bing. So that way it registers as that tag. I always put it on my account. And I'm not going to save this, but normally you just go save. Okay, and that's pretty much how you create a conversion tracking goal for and a tag. And that way 
what it will do is it allows you to remarket to that list. But that is a whole other training altogether. Okay, guys, I hope you got some value from this. And remember, my name's Alicia at aliciadijong.com. I'll put a link down the bottom. If you get some value from this training, please share. If you have any questions, hit me up, comment below, or get in contact with me via my Facebook below. Okay, bye for now.